Hello friends and subscribers of this channel. In this video tutorial we explain how to correctly install NVIDIA CUDA toolkit in Linux Ubuntu. Here is the motivation for creating this video tutorial. To be able to install, compile and use machine learning libraries it's often necessary to have NVIDIA CUDA toolkit installed. Note that NVIDIA CUDA toolkit is a separate set of compilers from the pre-compiled libraries that come with PyTorch. Often, it is necessary to have both CUDA and PyTorch installed such that you can run machine learning algorithms. Consequently, besides PyTorch that you can easily install by using pip install command, you also need to install NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. The installation process of CUDA toolkit might be difficult for complete Linux or Unix beginners. And consequently, I created this tutorial to explain all the steps. By the end of this tutorial, I will also teach you how to download samples from the CUDA official GitHub page and how to compile these samples by using the CUDA compiler. And as a result, you will see this nice demonstration of CUDA, which runs a CUDA rolling box filter. And if you can run this filter, this means that you have properly installed CUDA. That is, in this video tutorial, I will also teach you how to verify the installation. Okay, let's start immediately. The first step is to verify that you have a CUDA capable GPU and you need to verify the Linux distribution and compilers. So let's start. First of all, open a terminal. And now over here, I will resize this terminal and this manual that I wrote. Let me just do this so you can easily see what I'm typing and follow the manual and commands. And let's start. So first of all, you need to type this. This command will actually look into the VGA compatible controller and it will find NVIDIA Corporation and you can see the number over here. Over here you can also see my GPU. And you can also see the audio device. Good. Another way to verify that you actually have NVIDIA and that you have a GPU is to run this. This is also a famous command and this command will list what you have on your system. You can see over here driver version, you can see CUDA version. However, this is a CUDA driver version. This is not CUDA actually toolkit version. This is very important and you can see this part over here and you can see my GPU. Good. Next, you need to verify the Linux distribution. Why is this important? Well, I'm going to install CUDA 12.6. And this is the newest version of CUDA in 2024 July month. This CUDA can be installed on Linux Ubuntu 20.04, you can see it over here, 22.04 and 24.04. These are basically the currently supported or maintained in Linux distributions. Okay, so it's very important that you actually have that Linux distribution. So to do that, you can simply type this and you can see over here what's happening. You can see that I'm having Ubuntu and I'm having 22.04. This is very important. The next step is to verify that we have the GCC or the C and C++ compilers on our system. You will do it like this. So only here there is an error should be like this since this template somehow changes this double dash line to a single dash line and you can see over here that we have actually compilers installed and we will be able to run everything. Good. Now this second step is very important if you have already installed CUDA toolkit. So first of all let's verify do we have actually NVCC. NVCC is actually the executable file that calls the CUDA program and I don't have it okay but it might happen that NVCC is not in the path so we have to check the installation folder of CUDA another thing that you can also do is to try to run this and you can see that NVCC is not installed this is an again first check however NVCC might be installed but it's not in the system path to verify everything let's go to this folder and let's type this to see do we have something like CUDA written over here. Good. We don't have. 
Next, we need to go to another folder. Actually, if there is a CUDA folder, you will see it over here. Since there is no CUDA folder, we don't need to do anything. Next, let's check another folder, that is this one, bin folder. And over here, let's run this. We should see NVIDIA uninstall or something similar. We can, you can just run and go to the letter N and do see something related to NVIDIA uninstalled. If you just scroll all the way up, you shouldn't see anything, actually. This is actually a very long folder, so you should be kind of patient over here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, J, K, L, A, L, M, 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 N. Okay, do we see NVIDIA over here? Is there something NVIDIA? Okay, there are the in, in, in NVIDIA, but these are actually drivers that come, so there is nothing like NVIDIA uninstall. Okay, good. This is a very important step, and the next step that you need to do, just in case, if you had something, is to execute this command. NVIDIA sudo apt get purge remove NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. Okay, is not installed. This is very important. Okay, so we don't have NVIDIA and we can proceed further. Good. The next step is to install CUDA toolkit. There are several approaches for performing this step. The easiest approach, in my opinion, is to go to this website and over here you need to make several selections. So let's make these selections. Again, this is the website. So click here on Linux, since we want Linux. Click here on architecture, that is we have 64-bit system. Then over here, select your distribution. We are having Linux Ubuntu distribution. And let's check version. The version is 22.04. What type of installer type we want to do? We want to do Debian or local distribution, Deb or and here are the installation instructions. However, there are several issues over here. I will explain later on. So this is the first approach. Another approach can be found by clicking over here. And this page will lead you to this web page that has maybe even like 20, 30 pages of instructions. This web page will tell you how to install CUDA toolkit on almost any Linux compatible system. And you can see the versions and distribution that are supported. My advice to you is to go over this tutorial and to read this. You will learn a lot about how CUDA works, what's happening behind the scenes, etc. And over here you have pre-installation actions that actually I already performed, the most important ones. And now if you go all the way down to the section 3, over here you can select for example Ubuntu and this will lead you to these instructions okay and these instructions are actually compressed instructions that are shown over here or better to say these instructions are compressed instructions that are explained over here in more details okay so let's go here and let's start executing over here there is one missing line right and I will explain that so open the command prompt or terminal and let's start typing let me just do this so I, you can see both screens okay so let's start so paste this but don't execute it this will not work if you don't put sudo before so you need to do sudo and this and then I will enter my sudo password and here it is okay the next command already has sudo so just execute it like this here it is then over here again you will need sudo so be careful what you're typing don't just execute so what will happen now oops now what will happen we will actually download this file let me just write sudo we will download the file by using wget and here is the 
web page and let's run this and let's hope that this will work okay now you can see the download process and this will take maybe like five minutes depending on how fast is your system I can see right now my internet connection is relatively good so this might take several minutes after that we need to execute this command let me just copy it for some reason sometimes it doesn't get copied and this will my this might also take some time so be patient over here okay next we need to execute as you can see clearly written over here we need to do this that is we need to install the key so consequently we need to run this okay and then we need to run this let me just copy it And then finally we need to run this and this will actually install CUDA toolkit so now this will take some time and you can see the progress this was quite computational extensive command next we need to restart or better to say to reboot our system consequently let's do that I will reboot the system and then I will continue with this video okay so let's perform the first installation test open the terminal over here and then in this terminal let's write this thing NVCC let's see aha uh -huh. NVC is not found but can be installed with sudo apt install NVIDIA CUDA toolkit so what is the issue over here let's try to run like this thing it's not found but we install NVIDIA well what is the issue over here now let's resolve this issue the issue over here is actually that we didn't add our installation to the path and this is a big big issue and a lot of people are actually forgetting about this consequently we need to add the installation folder to the window to the Unix or better to say to Ubuntu path and let's learn how to do that okay let's first verify that the CUDA folder actually exists so let's learn how to do that the CUDA folder is actually located over here so let's go and let's type CD let's go to user local and let's see what do we have let's do LSLA to see what do we have Aha. Uh -huh. okay so we have something over here something very interesting so let's type CD CUDA and let's what let's see what do we have over here we have CUDA 12.6 so let's go to this folder and over here let's see what do we have good we have it over here consequently let's add it to our path the easiest way to add CUDA to our path is to go to our home folder and over here in the home folder we have one special file called .bashrc and this file is very important namely this file is executed automatically every time we open a terminal so let's open this file I will use gedit.or however you can use any other editor you would like to use and the name of this file is dot bash rc and here is the file okay so what we will do right now we will add first of all this thing to our path and notice that this actually path should perfectly match that is this path over here at least this part over here should perfectly match the previous path that I wrote over here so you see that this part matches this part over here and this part also like types your CUDA version 12.6 good next let's do this
Okay, so we have these two lines, and these two lines are standard. You just need to change here a few things and to adjust your version. So let's save this, let's close this, and let's continue further. How can we know now that CUDA is installed? Well, to make this bash rc file executed, the best thing is to close the terminal, then open a new terminal, And in this new terminal, we need to again call the command. So what is the command? The command is nvcc, like this. And let's see what happens. Good. CUDA compiled driver. We can see NVIDIA Corporation when it's been built. CUDA compilation tool release 12.6. Perfect. This is awesome. The real test of our installation is to try to compile or to build C++ files. Luckily, CUDA created a repository that contains CUDA samples and tutorials. So here it is. This is a GitHub page and we need to download these files and we need to try to build them. So let's do that. First of all, go to this web page or you can simply copy this link and let's clone this repository. So to clone this repository, I will do this. I will make a new folder called test CUDA or first let's go to our home folder and let's create a new folder and I will call this folder test CUDA. Then I will navigate to that folder and in this folder I will type git clone and I will do this. Okay. And this will download the remote repository and all the files. Good. Okay, next, let's navigate to that folder by typing this. Or oh, actually, we are already in that folder. Let's see what do we have over here. And let's go to CUDA samples. We have a subfolder. And over here, we can see all the files that are actually over here on this remote repositories. The samples are contained in this folder. So let's navigate to that folder. And over here you have a number of subfolders with different samples. Next, let's go to the second folder, concept, Concepts and Techniques, and let's see what do we have over here. Here we have a bunch of stuff. I'm going to go and I'm going to try to test the box filter. So let's navigate to the folder called box filter and over here you have a bunch of commands. The thing what you need to do here is to run make since you have a make file. Make file will actually call a C++ compiler as well as CUDA compiler and it will combine everything together and you will be able to produce the executable file and you will see the executable file will be over here. So let's do that. So simply type make. And let's see. And over here you can see something is compiling. And let's see over here. Do we, do we see some errors? No errors. And let's see. Do we have executable file? Here is the executable file. Perfect. So how to execute the file? Simply type sudo. Then type this. And the name of the file. The name of the file is box filter. And magic happens now. Wow. Here it is. Here is our box filter. CUDA rolling box filter. Looks amazing. If you can compile this file, this means that you can properly install CUDA.